While South Jersey is as dry as dry can be in the tropical Atlantic, it is a much different story. We have a starting five worth of tropical systems spinning out there. We have Hurricane Paulette, which just tore through Bermuda earlier today. We have Tropical Depression Renee, which is still hanging on after a week of developing and moving across the Atlantic. We have Sally, which we'll talk about more in a little bit. That is going to make landfall along the Gulf Coast sometime tomorrow. And then we have Teddy and we have Vicky, both of which was formed today in the eastern Atlantic. Now, this is just the second time in history that we've had five or more tropical systems spinning. The other time was when we had six, and that was back in 1971. This is all part of our record-breaking hurricane season. These are the formation dates for our five systems that we have now. All five of them are eclipsing the old record for the earliest date of formation for the storm. So we are way ahead here, and this is part of a historic, historic season that we are in. Now, Hurricane Sally will be making landfall in Louisiana as a Category 1 hurricane. It will stay to the east of New Orleans, at least the center of the storm, but we're still going to see four to six feet of storm surge in Lake Pontchartrain, seven to 11 feet as you get out towards the uh, eastern part of Louisiana and then all along the Gulf Coast, some kind of storm surge. Turning it back here to New Jersey, again, very quiet for us here. The clouds that we see earlier will be moving offshore and we should have a mostly sunny afternoon, if not completely sunny, as you get over towards Hamilton and into Stafford Township. We look at our future uh, satellite here, just a couple of clouds to talk about. Otherwise, though, we are mostly okay here. And this is because we have high pressure moving in and it's going to stay with us for a couple of days. So high pressure will be with us tomorrow. Will be right overhead here. Notice Sally here. This is going to play a role later in the week because what happens is this high pressure slips away. We're still under high pressure for Wednesday, so it'll be a fairly sunny day. But as we go into Thursday, this cold front here is going to try to push Sally to our south. And as long as it does so, by the time we get towards Friday, we're still going to see a good amount of sunshine and very dry air, and that will continue into a very fall-like weekend. However, if this cold front's a little bit slower, then we could be talking about wet weather on Friday. Right now, I'm keeping the forecast dry. For today, we have a pair of lucky sevens at the shore, upper 70s over at the mainland, comfortable and warm. And if you're heading out towards the water here on the sand, well, you can lay in on the sand, get your beach chair out, but don't go in the water. The rip current risk is very high. Our surf heights are high as well. Rip current uh, risk will continue to be high as we go into the week here. Then for tonight, it's a cool fall-like night. We're in the 50s for most spots, even at the shore. But look at Vineland, 49 degrees. And I think many spots in the rural areas and as well as the Pine Barrens will be in the upper 40s for our lows tonight. As we go into Tuesday, comfortable, I'll call it comfortably cool here. Low dew points will be in the 40s. So that is very dry air that's building in. A sign that fall is very much here in South Jersey. We'll continue that into Wednesday, though. Temperatures will be a little bit warmer. Notice the temperatures building as we go into Thursday. We're going to watch for Friday here. This is all determined on if that high pressure system and cold front can push out Sally. If it does, we're mostly sunny. If it doesn't, we're talking about rain for a good part of the day on Friday. But either way, the weekend is going to be very sunny, but also chilly here. It's going to be hoodie weather for much of the day on Saturday and Sunday. And I'll just mention at the shore again, we have that high seas and rip current risk until about midweek. Coming up at 630 tonight, we're going to talk more about this fall weather that comes through. You can follow me on social media for the latest, or you can go to our website at thepressofac.com slash weather.